Hey everybody, Sean here from Board Paracord. Today we are going to do a golf ball monkey fist jig using the Mofiji. Mofiji stands for monkey fist jig. Uh, a good buddy of mine, his name is David, he makes these jigs. They are laser etched um, with the size that the size of the ball that goes in here and it also tells you on the back how many passes you're going to require to do that ball. Um, we're going to do a golf ball which requires nine passes but this jig is still really good for that and you can find a link in the description of this video it takes you right to his page where you can get these jigs and these are more of a production jig so if you're doing a lot of these this is going to be the jig to do it you don't have to worry about moving pieces or anything like that this jig is set up to be a speed jig and you can knock these things out pretty fast once you get used to it um, so what I've already done here is I've cut, um, I think I have 25 feet, which is probably more than enough to do this. Um, and this is neon turquoise. It looks kind of light in the video, but, uh, the neon turquoise is a bit darker type of turquoise. So the first thing we're going to do is hold the jig in your hand like this so that you have your starting pin kind of closest to your wrist. We're going to take the paracord and we're going to kind of clamp it with our thumb leaving about I don't know two feet or a foot and a half maybe hanging off the edge there now when we talk nine pass what we're referring to is how many times this makes a full pass around the jig so this would be considered a one pass two three and we're going to do this nine times so starting at this this very first pin here and going up, we're going to wrap nine times. Oh, let me get that golf ball out of the way. And you don't want to pull tight on here because what will happen is these pins will kind of start to close down a little bit. So we're going to wrap real loose and then slide this down. So what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Whoop, and that's eight. Let me get this all down here and then nine and we're just going to kind of hold that on our starting pin and count one two three four five six seven eight oh we got one more to do and that's nine okay and we just want to make sure again oh, we, oh shoot okay so that should be good there i'm going to try to hold this so we can count now every side should have nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine and we know if there's nine here there's nine here and on, there's nine on the back but the one that we do want to check is this bottom one right here and we're not counting this one so i should back this up where you start on this pin you cannot count anything past that so when you flip this over that does not that one does not count so one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're going to stop on that same pin so that all sides are equal and then just drape this back down and clamp that with your thumb. Now once you hit nine on this pin, you're gonna bring your cord up through and cover this back pin so that you kind of form a little tunnel here. So just like that. So once you hit nine on this bottom, bring it up. So that, that would be nine there. Bring it up and through and create a tunnel. And now we're gonna wrap this so we just wrapped this way now we're going to wrap this way so it's this is going to go around the back through this tunnel here where my finger is and it's going to come up through and around and we're going to do that nine times as well now because i have about 25 feet what i like to do is to make a little thing like this and just poke that through and then pull the cord through that way because there's a lot of cord to pull through. And I have extra cord here, like way extra, um, in case I want to make a, uh, a handle for this. Okay, so then we'll bring this across. And you don't want to pull so tight that it starts to pucker like that. You want these to be nice and even. Okay, and then you want this, this last one to sit kind of on top of this first one just like that 
pass this loop through again. And you can kind of see my fingers are holding this right here. Pull that through. Yeah, I have way, I have way too much cord. You could probably get away with 20, 20 feet, not 25. All right, so that was two. Yeah, this gets to be kind of tedious when you're starting to go through these. Now, when you get to three, that's when you want to put your golf ball in there. Because if you go past three or four, then it gets kind of hard to get that ball in there. And like I said, this jig is not meant to hold the ball. It's meant to hold the cord. And that should be the case for pretty much any monkey fish jig. All right, so we're starting to get a pucker going. So you just kind of want to... Make sure that's not happening, because it'll kind of it'll affect how the whole thing looks at the end if you're not careful. And that's good to put the ball in at this point too, so that doesn't happen. But you can just slide that ball in, and now it's kind of cradled in there, and you start wrapping around there, and it the ball prevents that pucker a little bit. Now if you start to see that pucker, it just means you pulled too tight. So just kind of loosen that up a little bit. There we go, so that's four. And you want to keep sliding this down so that you have room here. Five. And you could probably skip ahead a little bit on this video to get to the next step. Uh, Alright, there's six, I believe. I did a two inch ball one time. I didn't do a video on it, but I, I had to set it down a few times. <laughs> it took me about three days to finish it because I got so frustrated with it. But it can be done. You just gotta practice at these. You, you may not get a good looking one at the first try, but you will if you keep practicing this. The, the key on these is patience. All right, let's see where we're at here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I actually went one past, so I'm gonna have to back this up a little. All right, so let's see. Let's see if we have nine on all of these sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So those nine will definitely be here, and they'll definitely be here. I'm just going to wrap this around here a couple times just so I don't lose my spot. And then we should also have nine on this this side as well. Let me get something I can point at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let me uh, check something here. Okay, yeah, I... Okay, so now once you get to this point, this is how it was set up in your hand before. Now what we need to do is we have two tunnels here. We have a top and a bottom tunnel. Now the cord is going to go through here. Now once you have your nine here and your nine here, if you go across, you're actually going to have ten here. So we don't want to go across there. What we want to do is go through this tunnel. All right, so let me grab... The end of my cord here. I got a lot of cord. Okay. Um, yep. So we're gonna take this right through this tunnel. You can see it right there. And then it's gonna go down around the outside and through this bottom tunnel. So first, let me do this. Let me pull this through. Ooh, I almost pulled all that off the end of the jig. Okay, be careful doing that. So let me get this cord through here. So 
So you're going to go under this pin when you pull everything through. So that it kind of wraps, you can see it's wrapping around these, these cords here. It's kind of hard to see, but you're wrapping around them. And then this end is going to go around the back. Pull all this through. Just like that. You can kind of see through there. See it went around this way and then through that tunnel down the back. And then we're going to run it through this tunnel here. Make sure you don't pull this off the jig. Alright, so that's one, almost one pass. This will be one right here. That'll be one pass right there. So let's do that again. Pass it through the back. Pull everything through. This is where it becomes real tedious. So and then you're going to pull everything this way and keep stacking it this way. Okay, pull it through. Grab that end and then you're going to take it, right, let me put it back to this way again. Now you remember you don't want to pull tight yet so we'll try and get these this pucker, pucker out of here. And we're going to pass it through this bottom tunnel again. Just like that. Well, I think I'm going to cut away and get this, this done. Um, just keep on wrapping until you have nine going this way. And I'll be back. Okay, so I think I'm at a point where I've pulled this through and I know I have nine passes here and here. So I'm going to slide this off the jig now. And the last cord that I pulled through is this one right here. So I'm just going to slide this off. And at this point, it should be pretty well put together. You're just going to tighten this from now on. Um, so I just want to count this wrap here and see if we're at nine. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to flip it this way and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should have nine here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this first row here, which would be on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is where this cord will end right here. Now I have a lot of slack here. So what I think I'm going to do is actually cut this with about, I don't know, about a foot left. Because as you tighten this, this is going to get longer. So yeah, I'm going to cut this right here and just melt the end so that it doesn't fray real fast. There we go. Alright, so now we have this here. You can kind of see both these ends here. Real short. Now we know that if our cord ends at this point, and our cord starts at this point, then all the sides are nine. So the hardest part of this whole thing is to tighten this and make every side look even. And it's a lot harder said than done. So the first thing you want to do is just go very, very slow. Do not pull very tight at all. And I think I want to get rid of all this stuff here first. And you want to make sure that none of these cords are kind of like this. You want to make sure they're all ran next to each other. So, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a problem here if we don't get this figured out real fast. So these are kind of starting to get bunched up. So we need to get this figured out first. And this is where your patience comes into play. So I think what I'm going to do is go to the very center of this one. And we're going to pull the slack out of it both ways. This way 
and this way to kind of tighten them up in the middle there first. And then we're going to move this slack throughout this whole knot. See, I'm pushing it up over here. We'll just pull it through. And we're, that's all we're doing this whole way. And I'm not pulling tight at all because I don't want this whole thing to kind of scrunch down on itself yet. It's a very slow process. And you're just working all the slack through here. Just figuring out where it has to go. Making sure all these lines are parallel to each other, not crossing each other. So yeah, definitely check the uh, description in the, if you're interested in one of these Mofiji jigs. He has multiple sizes too, not just the one and a half, but there's a whole bunch of sizes that he carries. Okay. It's starting to come together a little bit. Okay, now so this slack now is now moved to this side. So we'll just flip it over and run the slack through. And see, I could pull this really, really tight, but it would squeeze down on this. You don't want to do that. You just want to leave it nice and loose for now. We'll get to tightening that in just a moment. Um, you just want to work the slack through. Make sure that you get these cords nice and parallel to each other. See how that crossed right there? I want to get that undone before we, or at least figured out. Um, okay, so this was the first one. So I think I can't tell. Okay, yep, so there. Hmm. Okay, so this is the first one, so this goes this way. Yeah, see, see, this can be a little tricky getting these figured out. You gotta get these, we gotta get this one over the second one here. And not fighting each other. Um, sometimes it helps to get a little fit here. You can poke it underneath. It's kind of hard to see um, on the camera, but I'm just making it so that they're not crossing over top of each other. All right, we got that good now. So that's our first one. Just gonna pull that through, which means this is actually crossing over this one then too. This is another way you can do it too. Just pull it back and forth until it slides next to it. Get that pulled through. Okay, so we have one coming through here. It slid next to it again. Yeah, it can be a little frustrating, definitely, um, getting these figured out. Once you have it figured out, though, they're pretty easy. And I definitely don't mind doing these. Um, you can get a little frustrated, but with time, you'll, you'll pick it up pretty easily. But I'm going to get all this slack pulled through. Um, like I said, just work at it really slow. Don't pull tight just enough to get the slack pulled through. And then once you get to a point where it's starting to look nice, then you can start to pull tight, pull tighter and tighter. Um, and I'm gonna get to that point and then I'll be back. Okay, so I am pretty close to being done here. I got a few more little tweaks to do. Um, I went ahead and got everything nice and tight and you'll see you have one cord coming out from this side and one from this side. So if you tie a little knot here, you'll have a little bit of like a I don't know, kind of like a bridge of cord there. Um, what I have seen people do, and what I might do on this one, is I'll pick the longer of the two strands, which is this one. And I will actually, I'm going to put a fit on here. And then run, let me just do this real quick. Run it underneath of the cords. Let's 
So which one do I have? So yeah, I'll take this fid and I'll get it underneath. Let me do this one first. Just pull it underneath everything. Like this. Like this. So that these cords are on the same side. So it will go this way. You gotta do this kind of in a weird way. And then we're gonna run it underneath this way. And you just have to do a few at a time. Oop, I just pulled the cord out of the fid. There we go. Let me get this fid back on here. I didn't melt the tip of this paracord like I normally would for the fit. I just did it real fast, so that's why it came out. Alright, and then we'll run it through here. I like doing it this way so that your two ends are coming out the same exact spot like that. And it looks nicer. And then when you do your your handle, it's right up flush against the uh, the monkey fist. So there's that. This is um, basically step one of doing the monkey fist. My next video I'll probably end up doing, I'll take in this extra cord here and we'll be doing a handle for it, which we'll leave that to next week's video. This one was just the monkey fist. Um, you will get kind of frustrated. Well, at least I did. I don't know if you will or not, but I'm, I'm a pretty patient person and it kind of frustrates me a little bit uh, when I can't figure something out. But um, I got it all figured out. You'll start very, very loose tightening. Each time you go around, get a little tighter. And then all of a sudden, bam, it's right there. Even though it looked really nasty, um, a lot of stuff scrunched together, cords flipped over each other. Just keep working at it, and then all of a sudden, just everything just kind of comes together all at once. So it kind of surprised me at how well this turned out. Um, but you'll get there. Just keep practicing. Don't forget, check out the description for the Mofiji jigs. Um, I'm not sure what the price point is on there. You'll have to check his website. But I, I know they're pretty inexpensive, and he'll get those right out to you next day. So uh, hope you like that. Um, don't forget to check out the Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. And a link to that is in the description as well. There's 36,000 members in there showing off their creations every day. So be sure to check that out. And until next time, paracord on. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. There's other great videos all the time, and there's a few to the right side of the screen, and you can also buy Paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.